Oh. Hey, Nikki, look at all the stuff. Nikki. Hey. Big guy's talking to you. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just that this book is fantastic. <laughs> Let's get out of here, rock dog. We gotta clean this stuff up, man. It's been a while since your aunt and I went climbing. Did you guys really climb El Capitan Mountain in Yosemite? That we did. Jeez, must have been awesome. Terrifying is the word I'd use. Did I say that? Yeah. Exhilarating is what I meant. It was a very special week, though, wasn't it? Oh, well, like you said, exhilarating. Why anyone would want to climb a mountain is beyond me. Because it's there. Nikki, why don't you go with us to Gannett Rock tomorrow? Well, I want to finish this book, and I've decided that roughing it isn't really for me. Girl after my own heart. Oh, come, come on, you two. Yeah. Gannett Rock is an astounding work of nature. You don't know what you're missing. Please, roughing it for me is staying at a four-star hotel. I hear you. Come on. Don't forget about our spa day today. I don't have to get naked, do I? For a facial? No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sorry. Did you say something? Not a word, did, did you? Mm. You're reading Gone with the Wind? That's weird. Me too. Oh, that is so cool. Don't you think Scarlet can be so... Oh, I know. But don't you just love her? Yeah, but I feel sorry for Melanie. She um, has no idea about Ashley. See, and I think that she does. She's just in total denial. Totally. I gotta go. <sighs> And you, I will see later. Just like Brett and Scarlet. Hey, Jay, thanks for letting me split early today. Appreciate it. No problem at all. So you got that uh, Ryan Adams concert, huh? Yeah, you got it. So I heard that thing was completely sold out. Well, Sarah's got connections. I love those connections. Yeah. So, uh, things pretty tight between you two, huh? Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, maybe. Who knows? We'll see. All right. Uh, yeah, just... Coincidence? I work right next door, Sarah, you know that. What are you doing here? Just sucking down a triple berry smoothie. Why? Ryan Adams concert. You got us tickets. Your, your friend at the broker gets you whatever you need. Uh, oh, I was supposed to do that, wasn't I? Sarah, we've been talking about it for like a week. I'm really sorry. Really, I am. Could you ever in a million years forgive me? Yeah, yeah, I guess. Come on, hang out with us. Look, no, no, no. Um, I'll see you tomorrow then, at noon. Sailing on your friend's schooner. But you forgot that one too, didn't you? Sorry. I know, you're sorry. It's, it's cool. Braden. It's a perfect plan. There we are at the campsite after a full day of climbing. I pretend to be exhausted and go to sleep which leaves Johnny and Aunt Ava alone. Under the stars. Remembering how much they used to like each other. So romantic. I know. It took me weeks to come up with this scheme. How do you know it's gonna work? Well, the way they look at each other, talk to each other. It's so obvious that they were meant to be. Sometimes it's just the way it is, isn't it? Yep. Just like my mom and dad. So if they got together, they would be like your new mom and dad. Now you're catching on. Hey, what are you in the mood for? Surf and turf or just turf? Mm, surf. Protein with a mercury too, sir. You know, Nikki, I think you watch too much Discovery Channel.
She's shitting on him. How much more obvious could it be? We know what we think we saw. Erica in a lip lock with someone who wasn't Jay. Nikki, I, I know. I was there. So you think there's some sort of explanation? No, I definitely think there's an explanation. Look, the bottom line is we can't get in the middle of Jay's personal life. I know Jay pretty well. I mean, he and Erica might have some kind of arrangement. Arrangement? Meaning that they might be okay with dating other people. With the way he looks at her? No way. We don't know that. And if we tell Jay what we saw, or what we think we saw, the point is, it's none of our business. So we're gonna keep this to ourselves. Deal? Deal. Sarah. Rescuing you. What are you talking about? Come away with me. No, look, everybody is sleeping. Are they? Are you crazy? The White Adams concert. I'm making it up to you. My little brother is asleep. You're sexy when you panic. Sarah, please go. I miss you. I miss you too, but now is not a good time. Suit yourself, Romeo. No, oh, sir. It's like, but it's nice to know you really do care about me. You have to admit, at least she's got really good taste in music. Ryan Adams is pretty awesome. Oh, something's not right. There's something wrong with this picture. Well, let me frame it for you here. She's a pretty little rich girl with too much time on her hands and no supervision. Do you think people said the same thing about me? Yes. yes. Rude. You think I should talk to him? Forbid him from seeing her? No. no. Well, go ahead. Give that some thought for a minute. Okay, when your father says don't see that boy, who's the first boy you want to see? I think that would have been me. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, relax. You're gonna go camping with Derek and me and... Oh. Oh? Ava, Derek's been looking forward to this for weeks. I know. But with Brayden and everything that's going on, I really think I should stay here. But Susanna could go. No, 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 no. Come on, what happened to we're in this together? Okay, what happened to me only liking five-star hotels? It'll be good for your soul. And really bad for my feet. Think about it, fresh air. Uh, bugs. Far away from civilization. Well, wild animals scavenge for fresh meat. Please, Suzanne. No, Please. do not do that. Give me the eyes. All right, girls, you know what? It's no big deal. I'll take them. Hey, we'll have some real guy time. We'll hunt, fish. Well, that is if he's emotionally strong enough to handle being rejected by two parental figures in one day. Oh. Okay, fine, fine, fine. I'll do it. I really hate to go, but I got lessons, guys. Oh. Mm. Well, um, see you later. Let's play by ear. I was gonna meet up with Sherry in the game. Catch up, you know? Sure. Come meet us later if you want. Yeah, let's just uh, play by you. What, afraid you'll be surrounded by too much chick energy or something? Ah, I just thought we could uh, do something. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about that. <laughs> well, there's a new look for Jay Robertson. There's no look. Hmm. What look? Never mind. <sighs> what look? Oh, come on, admit it. You're in love. Love? Big time. I don't think so. I mean, Eric and I are close. Very, very close. But it's not love. So there's no exclusivity involved? I honestly haven't thought about it. I'm more of a moment to moment kind of guy. He passes, so. Moment to moment. Whatever will be, will be. Mm. <clears throat> hey, Brayden. Sarah. Uh... What are, you, what are you doing here? Sailing. I thought we had a date. Where were you two going? We were going to sail down towards DeMarco on my friend's dad's boat. Cool. You're Derek, right? That's me. You want to come with us? Can I? 
Uh, well... Hey, he's got plans. Why don't I just call you later, Sarah? You're Braden's Aunt Ava. He talks about you so much, I feel like I know you. I'm Sarah Borden. Well, I've heard a lot about you as well, Sarah. And your boombox. Sorry about that. I guess I'm just a hopeless romantic. Braden brings that out in me. <laughs> well, that's nice, but... It is dangerous. That trellis is very old. It won't happen again, I promise. So you coming? Um, if that's okay with you, Miss Gregory. Why don't we just do it another time? Sure, let me. surfing. It's for burnt out losers and wannabes who have nothing better to do with their time than pretend standing on a piece of fiberglass as a sport. Jay happened to mention what you said, verbatim. Oh, uh, sorry about that. I tend to do that, criticize things that I know nothing about. But, um, I saw you out there the other day and you looked pretty good. Me? Yeah. And I always thought that it was a guy's sport, but... Oh, come on, give it a shot. I got half an hour free, first lessons on the house. We'll just test out the water first. Okay. We're closed. I need to talk to you. I'm not so sure I need to talk to you, Sarah. Brayden. Look, you blew me off three times, and, and now you're sort of stalking me. It's getting weird. I was hardly stalking you. Okay. Maybe I have been stalking you. A little. Sorry. I just wanted to say what I should have said the other night on your balcony about being an obnoxious idiot. Sorry I didn't put you first. And I'm sorry I screwed up the Ryan Adams concert and the sailing and I guess it's this thing I do. Letting people get close and then I get scared. But I think you're really great and I'm sorry I screwed things up first because I really like you, Brayden. I do. I would really like to make it up to you. Do it. I would. Any ideas? Trust me. I got plenty of ideas. Hmm. Want to hear another one of my ideas? Hmm. What do you got in mind? Oh, yeah, I think right over here is going to be good. Nice and isolated. Okay, right about here, huh? Let's go. This looks like the perfect spot to set up camp. If you'd be so kind as to point out the direction of the powder room. Powder room. Yeah. And this is what? Toilet paper. Ladies' room is right over there. Surely you jest. Nope. Oh. Uh, Johnny? Yeah. I think you just gave her poison ivy. What? <laughs> it's a, not funny. That's a good one, man. It is mean and cruel. All right, all right. The ladies' room is over there. Go ahead. <laughs> See, I told you it'd be fun to bring Susanna, huh? Not really. Come on now. Grab that. I wanted it to be all of us. Ava, you, and me. Susanna's nice and all, but. She doesn't know the first thing about camping. That's what's going to make it so much fun to mess with her. Hey, your Aunt Ava, she was the same way her first time. I was hoping we would be able to spend some time together, like a family. 
We are a family, D. All of us, together. And the proof of that is Susanna enduring her worst nightmare. Being out here without room service. To come with us because your Aunt Ava, she needed to be at home. That's what families do, my man. Oh, my God! They have a shower with hot water. How do you make it look so easy? Practice. You'll get there. I did not even get up on the board. Tomorrow's another day. Speaking of which, here's the thing that I don't get about GWTW. Say what? Gone with the wind. That's what they call it in the chat rooms. How can Scarlett be with Red when she clearly loves Ashley? Because Red's hot. Yes, but seriously. If she loves Ashley, then why would she just cheat on him? She's not cheating on him. She's just trying to figure out what she wants. Yes, but she has Red. She should just leave Ashley alone, and then nobody will get hurt. Wow, you're really getting into this. Maybe you should just... You know what? Go, go, go. Actually, I should get back to the shop. Hey, save a wave for me, all right? Hey, Eric. How you doing? Hi, I'm Tate. Nikki. Hey, nice to meet you. So, listen, I'm about ready to go hit these waves. You want to join me? Actually, I was going to get back to the surf shop. Okay, then. We'll do it later. Let's play by ear. All right. Nice meeting you. Is he a friend of yours? Sort of. Just a guy I used to date. You know how that is. It's awkward. Right. Right. Awkward. I'm hungry. I know you are there, bud. And I am going to get this thing lit. Over an hour. I know men don't like asking for help or directions, but... Uh... I got it. Okay. I'm gonna get it. Just let me know. I got it. I don't think you boys appreciate me. Well, don't jump up and down trying to refute that. Well, <clears throat> if you are hungry, Princess Susanna did pack a few goodies. Goodies. Wait, 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 don't wait, wait. Wait, could be a trap. Smoked salmon, smoked turkey, French bread, assorted cheeses, fruit, oh, and chocolate covered, double stuffed cookies. You boys weren't hungry, were you? I call those cookies. No way, dude. Cookies. Hey, 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 looks like I got an audience. I do requests. Come in. Is everything all right? Yeah, fine. Come on. Out with it. Well, I know that it's probably none of my business. But? Erica's seeing her ex-boyfriend. Excuse me? Her ex-boyfriend, I, I think that they're, um, you know, and I just thought that I should tell you. She told you this? Well, not exactly. She not exactly told you she was seeing her ex-boyfriend? No, well, I, I mean, Anna Eva and I saw them kissing on the pier the other day, and then I just met him with Erica. Whoa, whoa. You mean you and Ava knew all this, and neither of you bothered to tell me anything? Well, we, did, we didn't think that we, we weren't sure, and then Aunt Ava wasn't sure that we should tell you. So you knew this before we had brunch together?
can beat you to the point. You think so? Taste this, huh? Love it. Brewed Johnny style. There you go. Chairs were a good idea. Yes, roughing it does not mean discomfort. You take the girl out of the city. Hey, 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 hey. I think I proved myself. Yeah, the camembert did hit the spot. Did... Gotcha. And I built my own tent by myself. No, pitched. Pitched the tent. Whatever. <sighs> but, uh, no, why quibble? Kudos are definitely in order. Huh, Grizzly Adams? <laughs> yeah, this is nice. And you didn't want to come. I did, actually. It's just when it was you and Derek and Ava, I thought, you know. What? I was a little jealous. What? I mean, you know, this whole situation with the kids. I mean, it, it's great. I, I love them, but... But what? Well, Ava's the mom. I mean, it's her family. And you're kind of the dad. No, I am not the dad. You are so the no, dad. No. It's good. You're great with them. Yeah, it's scary. And Jay's like the fun-loving older brother, like the wacky uncle or... Yeah, surfing's Dalai Lama. Yeah, exactly. I still don't know exactly where I fit in. You don't know where you fit in. You're the glue. Yeah. Right. No, 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 no. Ava's definitely got the lead, and I uh, do what I can. And Jay, well, he's unfazed when it comes to the kids. But who is holding us all together? Who's Ava's rock? Who's the one Nikki can talk to? Who is the cool one <laughs> that no one thinks will be judgmental? Let me tell you who. You. The kids need that. We need that. <laughs> I know that. We could not do this without you. Really. Thank you. Tell me about what you saw. I'm sorry. It's just, well, given your history and, and Erica's history, I, and what we saw, we saw from a distance. I just wish you would have told me, Ava. Jay, I didn't want to overreact. I mean, you know what the imagination of a 13-year-old girl can be like. His name is Tate. He and Erica were pretty tight for a while. I guess I still are. Seems to me you care about Erica a little more than you think. I don't know what I think. Nikki? I thought we had a deal. We did, I know, but 
We were wrong about Erica. I mean, I met the guy and what we saw was something. And just how did you meet him? Oh, well, I was with Erica and she introduced me. Oh, so that's your sudden interest in surfing. You're playing detective. It worked. Being her friend under false pretenses? Nikki, I have to tell you, I'm really disappointed. I thought that we could trust each other. Don't you think Jay has a right to know? Well, I wanted to get the full story first, Nikki. But since you thought you knew best, now I'll never have that chance. But I had proof. And you knew what I would say, which is why you didn't come to me. <laughs> I just know that if that happened to me, I would want someone to tell me. Wouldn't you? The point is, it was none of our business. And now... Miss Gregory? I can explain. There's nothing to explain. There is. I guess we're just moving too fast. There we go. Jay, it's not like that. <laughs> don't you get it? No, I don't get it. I have to be sure. You took me here once before. Really? What place is that? The place where all I do is think about you day and night. The place where I feel this ache inside whenever I'm not with you. The place where I feel safe and protected when I'm lying next to you. And so you go to your old boyfriend to find out that things are still right between us. I didn't go to him. He came to me. And I'm glad he did because now I know. Now I'm sure. Sure about what? Sure that I don't want anything or anyone to come between us. It's a waste of time, Erica. There's nothing between us. me to start because really I'd rather hear it from you. It was stupid. Sorry, that's not good enough. Would you like to elaborate? I was just locking up. Then she showed up and one thing led to another. I just... Look, Braden, Sarah scares me. I never thought a 16-year-old girl could scare me, but she really does. What? scares me too. Well, honey, there must be some way to contact her parents. I doubt it. And even if we could, they just don't care. Honey, you do understand she needs help. help. Yeah, I know that. I don't know how I didn't see it. A sign, something. Oh, how could you have? I was kind of focused on other things. Uh, you know, you're scaring me. <laughs> <laughs> Do we make a great team or what, champ? Derek? You need a hand with that? No. You know, there's a trick to that. You just gotta twist and push that little lever. I right said in. I got it. Oh, whoa, whoa. What's up, amigo? Nothing. Sarah, thank you for agreeing to see me. <laughs> First of all, let me just say how sorry I am. It was such a horrible misunderstanding. Stealing a jet ski? Sarah, how is that a misunderstanding? 
I know how it looks, but I thought it was a friend's. Really. You can imagine how shocked I was. Putting that aside, what did you think you were doing riding it through the pier at night? Sarah, do you realize you both could have been killed? Look, I'm really sorry about all this. I didn't mean to get Brayden in trouble. Brayden's not in trouble. It's... I'm concerned about you, Sarah. I wanted to call your parents, but Brayden said they're out of the country. I'm writing a yak in Tibet by now. It must be hard on you not having them around. Even when they're around, they're not, like, around. Look, what I'm saying is... I know what you're saying, Miss Gregory. I've gotten this speech before. I think it would be better if you didn't see fill in the blank anymore. Fine. It's a shame, though, because I really like Brayden a lot. And Brayden likes you, too. It's just that Brayden is also concerned about you. Concerned? What does that mean, concerned? You climb up the side of our house in the middle of the night, blasting music. I already explained. I know. Romantic. And then you show up at brunch unannounced? I wanted to meet you. My boyfriend's family. For God's sakes! He had sex with me, Miss Gregory, okay? I take that as a serious commitment. Sarah. But just, God, just leave me alone! to check up on me, see if I'm behaving myself? I'm sorry. You should be. I know. All this time, I thought we were friends. I guess I'm what, some specimen under a jar or something? Something to amuse you? The dumb surfer chick. Let's see what happens when I mess with her. No, no, it, it's not like that at all. I thought that I was doing something good, but now I realize that I was the dumb one. It's my stupid fault anyway. I always think I can solve puzzles, and then I realize I'm terrible at them. Are they as complicated as any of us says? Relationships with adults? Yes. And I want no part in them. I said it's a puzzle. Do you love Jay? Yes. God, yes. back there. You want to tell me what's up? This isn't what we planned. What I planned. It was supposed to be you, me, and Aunt Ava. Uh, you're not making much sense here, my man. I saw you right. last night. You and Susanna kissing. You, you, you what? No, we, we I just... saw you, and I don't get how you can be doing that when you're supposed to be with Aunt Ava. Uh, look, Derek, we're, we're, we're not... You love Aunt Ava, and Aunt Ava loves you. Aren't you the wimp? Sarah. Sending your aunt to do your dirty work? I didn't. Actually, I don't even know how she got your number. Yeah, she's resourceful. I'm sorry. Whatever. Sarah, I just want to help you. Oh, St. Brayden from Playa Linda. Come to help poor little rich crazy girl? No, that's not it. You're just like everybody else. I'm not. I like you. I like you a lot. You don't like me because I put out. That's not true. You are not like any other person I've ever met, ever, and I mean that in a good way. I think, I think that you... Mr. Fix-It, just like everybody else, guess what? You can't fix it. I can't fix it. No one can. Isn't it worth a shot? You have no idea how lucky you are. How am I lucky, Sarah? Your parents are dead. At least you know why they're not around. My parents just aren't, ever. 
they hate me. Don't. Nobody cares about me. I do, sir. I care about you. All right, hit the head, my man. We've got a long drive. Uh, you know that nice moment of bonding we had last night? You and me under the stars. You and me under the stars. You mean he thought romance? Yeah. And that made him mad? I think I'm offended. Yeah, well, see, that's only half the crazy part. He has this crazy idea that uh, Ava and I, you know, we're, we're, we're in love with each other. <laughs> yeah. Kids, huh? Yeah. Kids. So what'd you say? what I say? Well, I, I, I set him straight. Ava and I dated a long time ago, but, but you know, her, me, us, that, that, you know, that's just, that's, uh, that's not in the cards. No. No, of course no. Of course not. Hey, what's wrong? I, I screwed up. I, I really, really need your help. Because I'm your friend, that's why. Well, I'm both sleeping. I, oh, I really want. It's the middle of the day. Here, sit down. Okay. When you thought I knew something about Erica, you thought I should tell you, right? Yeah. Okay. I know something about Erica. Haven't we had this conversation? No, this is the conversation where I keep you from burying your head in the sand. Erica. Come on, he won't bite, I promise. Look, Ava, I appreciate... No, she... Listen to what she has to say. Mm. It's all yours. We have to learn to trust each other, Jay. Why is that? I mean, we... Okay, I'm listening. I love you, Jay. And you don't have to love me back. I'm not asking for anything like that. And I would really hate it if you just said it because you thought that that's what I want to hear, but I know how I feel. I'm sorry. I should have told you about Tate. But it took us a long time to get here, Jay, in a good place. And I didn't want to lose that. We climb, we conquered, huh? Why don't you hand me the... Ready to leave, sweetheart? You know, Johnny told me what you thought about last night. Johnny's great, but he and I, it's not even on the radar. We're just friends. But you know that other thing? Johnny and Ava? Between you and me, and I will deny I ever said this, I think you're onto something. You do? Adults are weird, if you hadn't already noticed. They scare easy. We can't make them nervous. I know you want this to happen, but you have to let them figure it out. Okay? Our little secret? All right, let's ride, rock dogs. Come on.
Well, don't go making any wedding plans for them, but I think catastrophe's been averted. Thank you. I am so never meddling again. Well, truth be told, Nikki, you might have been right in the first place. We are a family, and secrets are a commodity we can't afford. So this means that you're not disowning me? No. <laughs> but as for keeping deals... I know, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Jay? Nope. Go on with the wind. Doesn't do it for me. Really? Hey, do we have any barbecue sauce? Yeah. Yeah, I'm more of a Butch and Sundance kind of guy. Butch and Sundance? Yeah. Everyone knows who Butch and Sundance are. Who are Butch and Sundance? Uh, well, we have been to the mountain. And we have conquered it. They had escalators? Ha ha. Very funny. Johnny, let her know how it went. Well, she's a natural. No doubt about it. How about you, honey? You have a good time? Keep these two in line. It was awesome. There was this one mountain. It was like a chimney. It went straight up. And I had to force my camming device into one of the smallest crevices you've ever seen. Really? Oh, please, wash your hands first before you eat that. Sorry. And how about you, Superman? Did you have a good time? Uh, yeah, the best. You want to help me with dinner? Uh, I need to shuck these clothes and shower. I smell like a, um... I'm not sure what I smell like. I don't know. Uh, thank you. Hey, guys. Yeah? What's for dinner? Uh, barbecue. Oh, great. Well, is it okay that I brought a guest? 